This Bay Area teacher took her skills from inside the classroom to on your computer screen and decided to start her own YouTube page, Breaking Down Science and History. Joining me now is science and history explainer, author, and YouTuber, Kathy Joseph. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us here on thank the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. I just interrupted you. No, I wanted that's to okay. give you a copy of my book. Book. Awesome, and this is the Lightning Tamers. Thank you so much, Kathy, we appreciate it. And uh, before we get into the book, yes. I'd first love to talk about you as a YouTuber. So, yes. Kathy loves physics. For our viewers who have may, maybe never heard of the channel, tell me what it's all about. So it's all about, I'm, I'm very concerned that so many people, we live in such a technological world, mm -hmm. and so many people don't even know the basic idea of where it all comes from. Mm -hmm. Where does electricity come from? The plug in the wall. Mm -hmm. Where does, I mean, just the basics and it makes people feel insecure. Mm -hmm. So I thought I wanted to teach adults and smart teens where electricity comes from so that it could transfer into knowledge, but it'd be a more comfortable way to do it. And I didn't realize how exciting it would be for me mm -hmm. and how much I love it and how powerful it is to know where things come from. Yeah. And actually, it started with a book. And then I was like, well, how do I get anyone to read it who I don't personally know? Yeah. <laughs> and my best friend said, well, you talk a lot. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Honest friends, we all need them. Honest friends, that's what you need. Them. And she, she said, you talk a lot. Go on YouTube. And I'm like... Okay, and I was just, my book, my books tend to be sort of little short stories linked to each other with mm -hmm. a one theme in it. So that's what the YouTube became about. And then it became an interactive thing. Mm -hmm. It became a way of me exploring ideas that I wouldn't necessarily have time for. And most authors don't get much responses until the book is out. Mm -hmm. And then it's either, I hate it, or love it. Yeah. But YouTube, you get all this interaction. You get people telling you, oh, you should look into this person. You did this wrong. You did this right. Please stop using your hands. Which I <laughs> A lot of honest feedback. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I even got complaints like, I don't like the books behind you and the image. I'm like, you know, the, the channel isn't about the quality yeah. of the book. <laughs> And that's okay. And speaking of books, I'd love it's, to talk about um, one of the books you brought with you today, yes. The Lightning Tamer. So you said your YouTube, your books, they all go hand in hand. Yes. So when it came to first becoming an author, how did that play a role in how you were a YouTuber and how do they connect? It's, it's very much like, you know when someone puts on a play on Broadway, mm -hmm. they test it out in another town. Mm -hmm. To me, I can't imagine writing a book without testing it out on YouTube. Because the visual medium, you think of it in a different way. I think of it like a movie, like a story. Usually when you look into the history of science or you read the history of science, it says this person was born this date, blah, blah, blah. Their parents were this, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. You watch a movie, they're not like, meet this character. They were born on this yeah. date. They did that. <laughs> like they, they start with the plot. Mm -hmm. They start with making it interesting. They, mm -hmm. and. I feel like history of science should be taught that way, should be said that way. Yeah. And the visual medium inspired me to yeah. form the ideas that way. And every time I make a YouTube video on one of my subjects, my knowledge of it explodes. That's amazing. And then, then the interactions come. Mm -hmm. And then I get even more inspiration. And that's what it's really all about. Ex and exactly. And they tell me stuff and then I tell them. It's, it's interactive. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is an interactive book because of the YouTube part of it. Mm -hmm. And so it lets me also explore things that I wouldn't necessarily have time for. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Why don't I go into the person who inspired Mary Shelley's Frankenstein? Just because it seems like fun. Yeah, and it all really ties back to teaching for you. Yes. And when it comes to teaching, where does that passion come from? And how did you translate it from inside the classroom to on a computer screen? Well, I first fell in love with physics with the Exploratorium, which is just across it's the just street. just across it's, the street, yes it is. It's just such a fabulous museum. You go there and everything's interactive. I felt like it was like a whole bunch of different 
um, magician's mm -hmm. tricks. Mm -hmm. But then you turn the page and it says how it's done. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know how all the tricks were done. And that's the kind of passion that I wanted to share with my students. And I taught at Balboa High School for 12 or 15 years. And I really loved the teaching. I didn't love the paperwork and the yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love the teaching and um, and then I, I had two children and when I had my second child I wanted to have a little bit more time at home mm -hmm. and I thought well I don't want to go too crazy er and so yeah. I thought well maybe I'll try to write a book because who knows yeah. and that's what led to and then and now I'm just the but the experiences of teaching high school I describe it a bit like being in a bar with one of those metal th things in front of you and when it goes badly like people throw beer bottles at it yeah but when it goes great when you hit it, it there's something magical like you were just talking about your teachers that inspired you yeah when teachers hit their inspiration inspires their kids mm -hmm. there's it's it's just, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. That's what ends up happening. It's now, a you beautiful do, thing. You do have an event coming up. I'd like yes. to get this in really quickly before we end the interview. What event is coming up? Where can people catch it? So I am, I was actually inspired by this interview to put together a event. And I'm doing an event on how electricity became fashionable and fun. Okay. And it's on uh, April 2nd. April 2nd. And it's at the um, Sheriff Israel Temple has a, um, a large um, area that they're letting me use for seating. And it's going to be very different from what you might think of as a, you know, science lecture book talk. And that's on April 2nd. April 2nd. And you can get um, the tickets for $5. You can get tickets on my website, www.kathylovesphysics.com. Perfect. And you can also see it live streamed on my YouTube channel, which is called Kathy Loves Physics. I have a theme. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kathy, for joining us today. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for having me.